What if I said I had a time machine and you could go back to any time in your past? You can't change anything, but you can bring forward any experiences from the past that you'd like. What would you bring forward into your current life so you can relive that experience again and again? Hi, I'm Katie Gordon, I'm Dietless Living. You're not going to bring back the horrible experiences, are you? You're going to look around for the really nice ones. Yet reliving the unhappy experiences of your life is what your mind does over and over again. Because when things don't go right, when things don't go the way we want them to go, our brain gets really focused on what happened so it doesn't happen again. That's its job, is to make sure that you don't experience pain and discomfort again. And the reason it goes over and over things again and again and again is because it's trying to work out a way to solve it. And it's trying to work out what happened and why so we don't have to go through it again. Its job is to work out how we got taken advantage of, either emotionally, mentally, physically, financially, even spiritually, and then ensure that that doesn't happen again but it gets caught up in trying to resolve something that's already happened, something that just can't be changed. But our brain is like a dog with a bone. Our brain just keeps digging it up and chewing on it and chewing on it and chewing on it. However, unlike a bone, it never seems to diminish or go away. We still have, we keep just reliving that experience over and over again. In fact, going over that experience in your mind over and over just gives it life and you keep reliving it again and again. And you keep thinking about things that can't be changed instead of getting on with your life and living a life that gives you joy. What if you allowed yourself to choose something new? What if you allowed yourself to notice when you were visiting the past and bringing back something unpleasant? What if you noticed that you were digging up that rotten old stinking bone long enough to realize that you were digging it up? What if you just kick the dirt back over it? Turn your gaze to something that you like, you allow yourself to have some of those good time feelings. It can be anything. It can be something from your past that you do want to relive, or it can be something in your present moment, or it can be something that you're planning to do in the future. It doesn't have to be too big. It doesn't have to be too fancy. It just needs to be something that's easy on your mind. <laughs> be playful. Make it a game. Think of it like a game of tag. You know, your brain goes off thinking about something and you catch it. So the more times you catch it and stick it on the bench, the happier you feel. And the happier you feel, the easier life is. And the easier life is, the less tension and stress that you have in your body. And the less tension and stress that you have in your body, the more you're increasing your happiness and well-being. And the more you increase your happiness and well-being, the less times you need to reach for food to feel good. And the less times you need to reach for food to feel good, the better you feel. And the better you feel, the better choices that you make for yourself, the more you improve your health habits, and the more you improve your health habits, the happier you feel. It's a lovely cycle to get caught up in rather than the other one that you've been in. Remember, this isn't positive thinking, this is correct thinking. You have control over your thoughts. It just takes awareness of what you're thinking, noticing that you're not feeling good about what you're thinking, and changing your thoughts. We have the capability to do that, we just haven't practiced at it. We haven't been told that we can do it. We haven't built the skill around doing that. And that's all it is, is a skill to learn. If it's something that's happened in the past, you can't change it anyway. So what's the point of reliving it and regurgitating it? Remember, if I did have a time machine and I said you could go back to the past, that you couldn't change anything, but you could bring something back from your past and relive it, what are the experiences you would choose to relive? It's not going to be the unhappy ones. 
So don't allow your mind to relive the unhappy things from your past. There's so many good things in your past, times where you've laughed, times where you've felt relaxed, times where things have gone your way, times when you've felt powerful, times when you've been really confident. It's about building the skill now to make those experiences outshine anything else and retrain your brain to focus on what is good, what is happy and what is helpful. And that's how you change your life. I'm Katie Gordon, this is Dietless Living. Click on the subscribe button below and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.